What up guys, it's two o'clock in the morning for me right now. Huge update just came out. Can't believe it, clubs? Yes, you all heard me correctly, the glove case update. Let's go ahead and visit CSGO Stash, which is a great website. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just checked skins on it. Ooh, the Dragonfire looks pretty nice. I think they've actually messed up the skin a little bit on CSGO Stash because this one actually looks completely different. I saw it in the Steam Workshop right here, and it does look quite a lot different to the one they have on CSGO Stash for some reason. I don't know why that is. Hopefully it looks more like the Steam Workshop version. We also have the M4A4 Buzzkill. That looks pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, uh, it looks like maybe a little bit like the Asimov. The yellow was turned to a white, but I'm a fan of the Mecha Industries series of skins, so I think the FAMAS, I like it, I approve that. The P90 Shallow Grave. I actually am also a fan of these kind of, kind of gothic graffiti illustration style. I do like that. The Wasteland Princess, that's a new one. Obviously, we've had the Wasteland Rebels, which have had the kind of beige background, but this seems to have a white background. It seems to be more of a kind of graffiti style. I actually like that more than the Wasteland Rebel. The Royal Consort's Jewel Berettas. I don't think I'll be using those, not a massive fan. The Stinger, yeah, sleek skin, like it. The M4A1S Flashback, that is like some Vietnam era shit right there. I actually like that a lot. I would like to get my hands on one of those. The Nova Gilla, uh, I don't really see anything that special about it. Ooh, the USPS Cyrex, oh, that's a new one. I don't think there's enough red on it for my liking. I think maybe too much kind of blotchy white. The CZ Polymer. Mm, a little bit basic, not a massive fan. The Glock 18 Ironwork, what is that? That's like a pure black Glock that actually looks pretty sick. And the black sand and the sand scale and the sonar and the turf, I don't really see anything that special about those either. The turf actually looks a little bit like the Amber Fade. But what's a lot more exciting than the actual skins is the thing in the box that actually replaces the knife. This is the gloves. So let's go ahead and look at some of the gloves you can get. These are crazy. We have the driver diamond back. Yeah. Yeah. We have the Raps Leather, that's like Assassin's Creed style. We have the Raps Spruce DD Pat, yeah, that's kind of a bit Modern warfare style, I'd say. Raps Badlands, I like that. Raps Slaughter, oh wow, they're bringing the Slaughter Pan onto the gloves. Bloodhound Chard, that is badass. That's badass, those gloves are badass. Oh, we got the Bloodhound Gorilla, that's even more badass, I like it a lot. And the Bloodhound Bronze, I'm a big fan of all of these. Bloodhound Snake Bite, I like that. Sport Pandora's Box, that literally looks like a keen cycle. Glove. But I'm not complaining, it still looks pretty cool. Hedge Maze, <laughs> yeah, I like that, I like that. We've got the Sport Arid, we've got the Sport Superconductor, that's some Tron style stuff out there. We've got the Specialist Crimson Kimono, wow, does that say Tortue on it? Tortue? I don't get it. Does anyone care to fill me on in the whole Tortue thing? I'm clearly missing something. Specialist Emerald Web, I like that. Specialist Forest DD Pat, similar to the other DD Pat. The Specialist Foundations, and that's the end of the gloves. Okay, well we've had a look at all of these skins already. Let's stop having a look at stuff. Let's open some new glove boxes. So I've managed to find them on the market. Here they are. Yes, give me some. Wow. Look at the price of those things. Let's get 10 of these. I've put my buy order in 12 pounds a box. We might have to wait a little bit, but we'll sit back and try and relax. <laughs> So nine out of 10 of the boxes have now been purchased with the buy order. I cannot wait any longer to get me some gloves. So come on, I'm even gonna put the headphones on for some added sound effects here. Ooh, the Dragonfire. I knew the Dragonfire would be, would be a high up one. Let's go. First case, let's go, come on. Something, oh nice, okay. I'll settle with the purple, the purple's cool. The USP Cyrex, let's take a look at that. Ooh, yeah. I actually like that a lot more in game than I did on the website for sure. It's in field tested, okay, it's in field tested. And there we go, the final glove case comes through from the buy order. Let's see if we can get anything better than the USPS Cyrex. Having another quick look at these skins, the Wasteland Princess. I would use that shotgun, I think, as my main sawn off right there, if we could get that. Okay, we're gonna get the Mag 7 sonar. Most of the blues, I'm not a massive fan of, to be fair. And that looks like it is in Battles card for sure. Literally looks like the default. Oh, it's mi what? How is that minimal wear? Well, I don't know what the hell is going on with this skin, guys, but literally looks like it's been run over by a tank and yet it's minimal wear. Okay, case number three. Come on, gloves. I'm gonna rub my hands together because it, it kind of signifies or symbolizes rather gloves. That's what I want. Gloves, little gloves to keep my hands warm, <laughs> not a Mag 7 sonar. And that looks a hell of a lot better, actually. That looks a lot better, even though there's a lot of... Is, is the blue even meant to be there? This gun is confusing me, this skin. There's a field tested. How does that one look better than the... 
What? Okay, guys, I just got to point out that look at the front kind of barrel area of this Mag 7 on the minimal wear one. And then look at it on the field tested one. What's going on? I just literally think that a field tester one looks so much better than that minimal wear one and that doesn't even make any sense. I see the Star Trek pinks go by. Come on, anything good. Okay, at least we got Star Trek. Star Trek Galil AR Black Sand. As I said when I was looking at them at CSGO Stash, I'm not a massive fan of the, of the Black Sand, but actually when I see it in game, it is cooler than on the website. So I'll give it a little bit of credit. Onto the fifth case here, literally 50% through all of these cases that have cost us a ridiculous amount of money and I'm just hoping to see some gloves. It comes up in the little thing that should actually have a knife in it, but just says gloves instead of knife. But the Cirrus, hmm, the Cirrus, that looks kind of like a Gears of War skull thing going on, but yeah, kind of metallic blue with the Gears of War skull on it. Onto the sixth case, come on, I bet a lot of these cases are being opened right now and I would absolutely love to get those gloves. It's not going to happen. We're going to get a Mag 7 sonar instead, and this is probably going to be Battle Scar and it's going to look amazing because that's the way the Mag 7 sonar works apparently, which is fantastic. What even is that? That's minimal wear. Is it? Well, the field tested one still looks better than it. Doesn't make any sense. Let's rage open this case and see if they see if that will actually get us the gloves. We haven't actually got the skin yet. The MP9 sand scale. Yeah, it's not fantastic. It looks like a Pokemon that's actually covered in that, and I can't remember which Pokemon it is. Any of you Pokemon fans out there, please help me out with the uh, which Pokemon is that? What's it gonna be? Oh, another black sand. Am I actually going to have to buy more of these cases to try and get the gloves? I feel like that's probably what's going to happen here, guys. I'm going to get upset at all these blues, and then I'm going to go ahead and waste a ridiculous amount of money on even more cases. So, let's see. Maybe we can get the gloves from 10 cases. Oh. I keep having so much faith, and then I just see skins called Sand, and immediately reminds me of the Sand Dune, and that looks like a battle scarred sand right there. That's, that's field tested. Okay, last case. I would say this is the last case, but actually, I'm gonna buy five more if I don't get something decent in this case because I have a gambling problem. It's a very serious addiction, which I waste a lot of money on. What's it gonna be? No, another Mag Seven Sonar. So once again, I've gone ahead and spent a ridiculous amount of money on seven more cases. This has cost me at least a couple of hundred so let's see if oh there we go straight away the wasteland princess we see it but obviously we're not going to get it are we going to get purple though i'll sell for purple i'll sell for purple thank you the nova jilla as i said when i was looking at it on the website not a massive fan of it but it looks in quite good condition minimal wear i'll take it on to our second case here what do i really want from this case honestly the p90 shallow grave that's pretty sweet i've already got the cyrex dragonfire obviously i want the dragonfire i don't know whether it beats the scout in the water because that's like my favorite scout ever but I'll happily take a Statrak Factory New Dragonfire. That would be sick. Okay, nice. Purple. Maybe we have enough for a purple trade-up at the end of the video. That'd be pretty sweet. The Dual Beretta's Royal Consorts. Oh my god, they look so much better in-game than they did on the website. What the fuck? Those actually look sick. I think those are actually the best <laughs> Dual Berettas in the whole game. I completely take back what I said about those Dual Berettas looking bad. Those are sick. For sure, those are going to be my main dual Brettas when I actually manage to get them in Star Trek Factory New with not a absolutely mad price tag. The MP7 Cirrus. I like it less and less every time I look at it, to be honest. Less and less. The MP9 Cirrus can get out of here. Let's move on to the fourth case here. Let's see if we can unlock those mighty, mighty gloves. Come on, give me the gloves. That would be amazing. Oh no, the flashback. I really wanted the flashback as well, actually. That's one of the skins I've completely overlooked. There's, a man, there's another one. Mag 7 Sonar. But yeah, I completely forgot about that M4A1S. That is super, super sick. I actually really want that in Star Trek, the flashback proper vietnam -y. Oh, we're gonna get the sand scale instead. Come on, man. What's with the sand scales? Gaben. Oh, it might be factory new, though. It might be factory new. That is factory new. Nice. The penultimate case here. Give me some gloves. Give me some shiny, shiny gloves. I want those gloves. Oh, at least it's Stat Track. On the bright side, it is Stat Track. But, like I said, I like it less and less. Actually looks a hell of a lot cooler in Star Trek than it does in regular. Come on, final case. We gotta take a moment out here, guys, just to, just to pray to Gaben. Gaben, I know you can hear me. I want those shiny gloves, please. Please, please give me some Bloodhound gloves. That would literally make my whole night so much better. And there's the pinks and there's some more blues. Fuck my life. A lot of money spent on these cases and pretty much nothing to show for it. And it turns out we don't even have enough for a purple trade up either. Well, if you guys are opening these glove cases, I hope you have a hell of a lot more luck than I did. Mainly just kind of blues here, which is pretty shitty. Actually, I think we can probably do a blue trade up. So let's go ahead, put all these 
sonars in. I don't like you, sonar. And get out of here, sand. Anything with sand in the title of the skin, I do not want in this trade up. Cirrus, you can get in there. And we don't actually have anything else from the glove collection. We can call it the glove collection. So let's just do this, and hopefully it doesn't pick from the very final collection. Yeah, okay, there we go. The Nova Gilla. Not the best. I would have definitely liked the M4A1S instead. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to get out as quick as I possibly could, which is why I spent so much money on these cases. So thumbs up for that. Really looking forward to seeing you guys unbox some gloves. That will be amazing. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Peace.